Y'all know what it is. So let's go ahead and sing it. Pose, 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 I do adore. Pose, 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 I do adore. What is up, awesome people of the internet, and welcome to week 19, y'all. Again, I say week 19 of women's college basketball. This is when it all starts to matter. Um, on Sunday, we will have Selection Sunday, where we will find out where teams are actually ranked in the NCAA tournament. And so because of that, these top 25 rankings mean more now than it ever did in the season. I know we talked about week ones, uh, polls, week two, week three, and all that. It had a lot of movement, a lot of changes. Uh, but for the most part, uh, where we land right now is, is you know, you can kind of put a little bit more stock into it, especially since, since a lot of the major um, conference tournaments are already done. Um, we do have more conference tournaments that are that are still happening right now, um, primarily for for some of the uh, some of the lower the the mid majors, I should say. Um, but we also have uh, tonight we have Texas versus Iowa State for the Big Twelve tournament. So that is something that um, we will actually be uh, uh, giving a recap, uh, a, a live recap after that game is over. So uh, check that out if you want. But Without further, further, further ado, let's get into week 19's numbers. Like, where do people, where are people landing for week 19? Of course, of course, we always start with the number one team in the country, which is South Carolina. That thing is not going to change. We saw South Carolina have a huge battle against LSU over the weekend. Uh, South Carolina did come out the victor, uh, so their their status at, at the number as the number one spot is completely, completely um, locked in. It is completely locked in. Um, when we look at the number two spot, we did see Iowa move up a spot from last uh, last week. Now, folks, some of y'all may be like, why is Iowa at number two? Well, because I think it's a warranted thing. Iowa has been very, very consistent of late um, and it has proven themselves to outlast, you know, a lot of the other former number two teams in the country. We saw... A lot of teams hit that number two spot. We saw Stanford hit that number two spot. We saw um, we saw Ohio State hit that two spot. We we saw Iowa hit that two spot and, and other teams as well. But Iowa seems to be the most steady at that number two spot because we know it just fluctuates. Um, and the reason why Iowa moved up to, up to that number one is because they won the Big Ten championship. Uh, they 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 made it happen, um, and they made it happen pretty convincingly. Pretty, pretty convincingly, they, they had a game versus Nebraska for the Big Ten uh, championship. And we saw impact from lots of different players not named Caitlin Clark for Iowa. And I think that really is the key for them being this number two, at the, this number two spot because they are more than just Caitlin Clark. They've always been, but I feel like players are stepping up more than they have before. All right, moving on to the number three spot, we have USC. And if you're wondering why, well, it's because they won the Pac-12 tournament. The Pac-12 tournament um, was extremely, extremely, extremely competitive. Uh, this was a tournament that, you know, was the, in my opinion, the toughest in the country. And we saw USC get it done. And again, similarly to, to um, Iowa, this is a team that had a lot of the other players on their team step up not named Juju Watkins. Of course, we know how great Juju Watkins was, but even in that, even in that, um, that, uh, conference championship game, Juju didn't even have the best of games. Uh, they, they played against Stanford. Um, and it was basically everybody else that was, that was killing Stanford. And, and that's why they lost. Uh, yes, they were able to shut down Juju Watkins, but USC again has proven that they are more than just, um, Juju. You have Mackenzie Forbes. You have Raya Marshall. You have Kayla Padilla. You have so many other players who are stepping up and specifically stepped up in that Stanford game. And I think that is, you know, yes, they they won that game, but but it was the 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 uh, not just the star player that showed up. And I think that helped them be the number three spot in the country. And it's a well deserved spot. Um, USC has been balling for this team, and Lindsey Gottlieb. She has something special. She really does have something special. Now, on to Stanford, who dropped two spots from last week. Uh, they dropped, why? Because they lost to USC in the, in the um, 
Pac-12 championship game. Um, and, you know, it makes sense that they, that, that they got dropped. Uh, I, I, I do think in general that, um, that on paper, sure, maybe Stanford is better than USC, but when it came down to a head-to-head matchup on neutral territory, USC got the dub. So it makes sense that Stanford went down. Now we have Texas at number five, who went up one spot from last week. And the reason why is because they're they're cruising along in the Big 12 tournament. And again, as I said earlier, um, we will see Texas play Iowa State later today for the championship game for the Big, Big 12. So depending on what happens from there, I assume that um, that Texas will win. However, Iowa State has a bunch of freshmen led by Audie Crooks, and they are just special. Very, very special. So who knows? Texas can get got. As I always say, guys, it don't matter who you are, you can get got. And we'll see. We'll see what, what Texas is able to do against um, Iowa State. If they do lose to Iowa State, I think they're dropping down for sure in the in the rankings. And number six, we have UCLA. They went up one spot from last week. Um, I, I think it's it's not so much about, about what they did. It's, it's about uh, other teams losing and, and that sort of being the, the difference. Uh, but UCLA did lose to USC in the semifinals for the Pac-12. All right, moving on to number seven, we have Ohio State that dropped three spots from last week. And the reason why is because Ohio State got got. Ohio State played uh, in the Big Ten tournament, and we saw this team lose, and not just lose, but lose to Maryland by almost 20 points. Now, that was a crazy, crazy, crazy loss for Ohio State. And that's the reason why they dropped three spots, uh, because that was the game that they were not supposed to lose. But again, I'm going to say it again. Anybody can get got. And Ohio State did. And because of that, they got dropped three spots at number seven. At number eight, we have LSU, who is holding, holding steady. Um, the reason why is because they made it to the the um, championship game for the SEC tournament. Yes, they lost to, to uh, South Carolina, but like South, South Carolina is the best team in the country. So... It makes sense that LSU would just stay exactly where they are, um, securing that number two seed in the NCAA tournament. All right, continuing on, we look at Notre Dame. And the reason why Notre Dame has moved up five spots to the number nine spot, the reason why is because they won the ACC tournament. And guys, uh, if you look at this, if you look at this, uh, this Notre Dame team, they are a tough, team to go against. We we saw them, we saw them beat Louisville. We saw them um we saw them beat Virginia Tech. And on Sunday, which is which was 2 days ago, we saw them win the championship game against NC State. Now, this is a tough gritty team. We are seeing the resurgence of the Fighting Irish. And it is pretty cool to see. Neo Ivy is doing something special with this team. And one thing that I thought was pretty special was the fact that they won the game and Muffet McGraw was actually there doing some reporting for the ACC network. And um, her and Neo Ivy were able to have a moment. Um, it's kind of special because if you don't know, Muffet McGraw is a legendary coach for Notre Dame. She was there for a very, very long time. Um, she created uh, she created a, a, a legendary series of years for Notre Dame where they were they were sort of right at the top, right? This was, you know, this was a very special time for, for Notre Dame and, and they took them a while, um, a little while, and now they're back to that. So shout out to Hannah Hidago, shout out to Neo Ivy. Um, they're just fun. Notre Dame was a fun team to watch and they moved up five spots from last week to the number nine spot. So for UConn, we have them. They went down one spot from last week to the number 10 spot. Again, I don't think this has anything to do with UConn as a team because they won the Big East um, pretty handedly with, with only with only seven players on the roster because um, Aaliyah Edwards did break her nose. Um, so so that is that is a factor to, to think about going forward for this team, that they only have really seven healthy players until Aaliyah Edwards comes back, and then they'll have eight healthy players. 
Um, rough sledding for UConn, um, but they did, they did move down one spot. I think it's again. I think it's more of what other teams have done than what um, what UConn has done. All right, taking a look at NC State, they did drop one spot to the 11th spot, and the reason why is because they lost to Notre Dame. Um, they they were a team that uh, had a better ranking going in than um, the Notre Dame last last week. NC State was the number 10. Uh, 10th spot and Notre Dame was in the 14th spot and you know NC State got got so they dropped down just one spot to the number 11 spot all right taking a look at Oregon State they did move up one spot from last week and the reason why is because they did their thing in the Pac-12 uh, Pac-12 tournament so yes they didn't make it to the championship game however when you when you look at when you look at Oregon State they had a uh a, a a pretty good showing against Stanford. Yes, they did lose in that in that Stanford game, but like, you know, they looked pretty good. You know, they they tried their best against then the number two team in the country. Uh, so it makes sense that they they moved up one spot because the Pac-12, as I always say, is the toughest conference in the um, in the NCAA. And uh, Reagan's back, and Reagan's back, and she's balling. Um, she's not a hundred percent just yet, but uh, she's looking good. She had seventeen points in that game against Stanford. Uh, so Oregon State at the number 12 spot. All right, uh, let's take a look at Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech did go down two spots from last week. And the reason why is because they got got. Um, they lost in the semifinals against Notre Dame. And, you know, they, got, they moved down two spots because of that. Um, the ACC, yes, is a very, very, very tough uh, conference to play in. Um, and so that's why I think they didn't go down too much because of that loss. Uh, but they did they did move down um, two spots from last week. And also, um, Elizabeth Kitley still isn't back yet. So, so yeah, that is the plight of Virginia Tech. Moving on to the 14th spot, we have the mid-major darlings in Gonzaga who are just continuing to do their thing. They moved up one spot from last week to the number 14 spot. All right, moving on to the number 15 spot, we have Indiana who dropped three spots from last week. And if you're wondering, why did they drop so far? Well, they dropped so far because, again, I keep saying it, teams got got. So Indiana got got last week um, in a Big Ten tournament play. They lost to Michigan, and that was absolutely surprising um, because Michigan wasn't even ranked uh, last week. And, yes, Michigan is a good team, but – um, I didn't expect for Indiana to lose to them. They lost to them um, 69 to 56, and they got dropped three spots to the number 15 spot. All right, and continuing on, we have K State, who stayed steady at that number 16 spot. Uh, they did lose yesterday um, in Big 12 competition. However, that loss was actually before. Um, the or that that loss was actually after the rankings were uh, were all were all set to go, uh, so they they lost last night um, to Texas, and that's I think that's a, probably a reason a slight reason why they didn't dr get dropped though, they probably would stay would have stayed steady anyway if this was if if that Monday game was before. Uh, these these AP rankings were released. All right, moving on down to Oklahoma. Oklahoma did move up two spots uh, from last week to the number 17 spot, but I do believe they are going to be dropped down uh, because, again, um, that game happened after the AP polls were released yesterday. So so the AP polls were released yesterday morning, and um, Ohio, uh, Oklahoma uh, and uh, Iowa State played that evening. And Iowa State gave them the business, you know, uh, and and so because of that, I, you know, Oklahoma is probably going to drop. They did move up two spots from last week to the number seventeen spot, but they're likely going to drop down again. All right, Col we have Colorado at the number eighteen spot. Uh, we have Baylor at number nineteen. We have Utah at number twenty. UNLV at twenty one. Syracuse dropped down two spots to number 22. We have another um, uh, Big East team in Creighton, who is the number 23rd spot. And we have Louisville at number 24. And for the second week in a row in the AP Top 25, we have 
Fairfield. All right, other teams that received votes included Princeton, Nebraska, Mississippi, West Virginia, Iowa State, Columbia, Tennessee, Toledo, Florida State, Duke, Richmond, Kansas, and Jackson State. That was a funny sing-songy way of saying that. Anyway, that was your top 25 for week 19. Y'all, let me know how much movement you think uh, this list will have before we get into Sunday, when it all matters, when we have, um, you know, the, the selection Sunday, guys. Uh, so that is the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully that was uh, informative and also a little bit entertaining. That's, you know, I, I, I'm kind of silly sometimes because, uh, you know, I, I don't want it to just be boring, guys. I, I could just read off read off the whole list, but I want to give you a little bit of context and I want to also make it interesting for you. So if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Also, uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I will be live later today for a stream um, after the Big 12 championship game because it's going to be a cool matchup between Iowa State and um and uh, Texas. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see if Texas gets got. We will, we will see what happens. All right, guys, I really do appreciate y'all for, for rocking with me. And until next time, guys, bye.